So what I thought we'd do for the first part of the session is work on, as a warm-up, a bit of agility work. The O has got to catch the X. The X has got to try and get through those two yellow cones in five seconds, and the O has got to try and, try and catch him, tag him. It's an agility warm-up, but part of it is closing down, so it's, it's relevant to defending. Part of it for the guy trying to dodge you as an attacker, whether he's got the ball or not. So he's trying to roll around you, not letting you touch him, not letting you tag him. Maybe going back into space and then exploding, but he's got five seconds to get through those cones. You've got five seconds to tag him. Okay, so when I say go, you've got five seconds, you've got five seconds. You've got to get through there. Dodge him, weave, trick him, out of the way, trick, bang, bang, lots of movement. Okay, off you go. Five seconds. One, two, three, four. Did he get through? One nil. Change paces. The first game was a five second catch game, really. The guy's got five seconds to get through the, the cones. The defender's got five seconds to try and tag him. So all those movements, multi -change, uh, changes of direction, relevant to defending were, were, were in those really, for me, agility sessions. Off you go. One, two, three, four, five. He's got through. Jeepers, creepers. Off you go. One, two, Three, he's got him, good defending. He's nailed him. And then we took it into, uh, we paired them up uh, in terms of we, we, had, can you, we played the tight one. Can you lose your man? Can you get away from your man? In this big area, what I'm gonna allow you to do, the reds are gonna be the attackers. The blacks always have to be touch tight. So if Billy's running round in here and I'm the black, slowly, I'm touch tight. Now you've got one chance to get out of here without me staying with you. So as you're jogging round, one change of direction might be here and then quickly go that way. One change of direction I'm allowing. Can you get outside the area and lose him? So slow the defender down, but I'm gonna call out and inside 20 seconds, you've got to make your move. Now whether you make your move after five seconds, 10 seconds, 15 seconds is down to you. And down to whether there's space to run through. 20 seconds, off you go. If you get out, keep your scores, change places. Only one change of direction. Oh, that's not bad, that's not bad. You nearly stayed with him. Good, only one change of direction allowed. You've got to stay in there, there's the grid. Now just every now and again, as good defenders do, just let him know you're there. Just let him know you're there. Let him know you're there. And when he's ready, now I'm going to allow two changes of direction. So you can work in one way, then chop and go the other way. Yeah. Be aware of the other players in here, don't want any injuries, okay? 20 seconds, off you go. Be aware of the other players. And stop there. In you come, boys, in you come. What's your thoughts about that in terms of, uh, of how you lose your marker in a match? Do you think that's relative? Yeah. What about for the striker? What's the striker got to be doing? Just wait 10 minutes. No one, no one, no one. I'm walking off him, I'm moving him. What have I created? Now I'm getting back across him. 